uh, chicken soup can get a little boring, you know. But Texas chef Stephen Piles has a great recipe for those of you looking for something a little different. Back in a moment. Hi there, I'm Stephen Piles, and tonight we're going to prepare a soup. It's charred tomato and eggplant. And I've got these great Roma tomatoes, and I'm going to put those down and just sear them really hard, really hot, hot, hot. They're going to get blackened, and that's what we're doing. We're blackening the tomatoes here. Nice and black. I've got them already seared and ready to go here. That's beautiful, and that's exactly what we want on these tomatoes. In the meantime, I've got this really hot skillet, and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to get that smoking good. I'm also going to add just a little butter. That adds a really great flavor. And the butter's just going to brown just a little bit. How about a little garlic? Get that really nice and seasoned. A little onion. There we go. And then some aromatic vegetables, just a little celery and carrot. This is just some beautiful eggplant. We've just kind of cut into half moons here. Going to season this all with a little bit of salt. Now that's going to roast for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to add some red wine. And that's just going to cook down. And then I'm going to add just a touch of ancho chili puree. This is a beautiful dried chili. It's a poblano in the fresh state. We've just toasted it, soaked it in water, made a wonderful little spicy puree out of it. That's going to go in there. Going to stir that up. And after that goes for about 10 minutes, we're going to add some chicken stock. Now let me show you what I've got here. I've got some all ready to go here. This has been going for about 20 minutes. This simply goes into the blender. Just stir that right up. Nice thing about this, it can be either cold or hot. Charred tomato eggplant soup, mmm, looks delicious. And what do we need with that? I think we're going to add just a little bit of, a little touch of sour cream here. Just kind of top that off. Maybe even a little cilantro. That'd be good. And I think we need uh, maybe some nice toasted uh, focaccia or a little garlic bread. That would be great. A little Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, some delicious red wine, and call it a day. There you go. Spicy cooking and happy eating.